One way to enhance eyelashes is to coat them with mascara. Early mascaras were made of petroleum jelly and coal, or soap cake tinted with black dye. Today's liquid mascara comes in a tube with an applicator brush built right into the cap. Mascara formulations vary. The basic ingredients are wax, water, pigment, and binders. Additional ingredients produce features such as water resistance. Every formulation is comprised of an oil-soluble phase and a water-soluble phase. To prepare this mascara's oil phase, a technician combines four types of wax. Carnauba from a Brazilian palm tree, Candelia from a plant that grows in parts of Mexico and Texas, beeswax, and glycerol sterate, an emulsifier which helps ingredients blend well. Next comes vitamin E, which conditions lashes and gives the mascara a smooth texture. After that is a chemical compound called Palomol D2000, which makes the mascara water resistant. The technician heats this oil phase of the formulation. Once the waxes begin melting, blends the ingredients. Wax is a thickener. This calculated combination of four different waxes produces a semi-liquid gel that coats lashes with a shiny film. The technician now prepares the water-soluble phase of the formulation separately. First, heating up cold water, then adding an emulsifier. This will bind the water and oil phases when they're combined later on. Without an emulsifier, oil and water solubles would naturally separate. The next ingredient is a cosmetic-grade iron oxide pigment. The color is black because she's making black mascara. She blends the mixture until the color is uniform. Then she adds TEA. This organic compound balances the mascara's pH level so that it isn't too acidic or alkaline. Next, she adds a cosmetic powder to make the mascara silky and a chemical to provide additional water resistance. Finally, she completes the formulation by adding the oil phase to this water phase. Heating the mixture while blending prevents the waxes from solidifying. Before packaging, the factory's chemist runs quality control tests. Using a viscometer to measure thickness, he makes sure the mascara isn't runny or gooey. He also tests the pH level. If the sample meets specifications, the lab gives the go-ahead to package the mascara, and a worker pours the batch into a filling machine. The machine continuously mixes the mascara and keeps it hot so that it remains liquid. Otherwise, the mascara would begin to cool and jellify and clog the filling nozzle. A mascara bottle typically contains about two ounces of mascara. As it cools in the bottle, it transforms into a semi-liquid gel. She seals the bottle by pressing in a plunger-style plastic stopper. The stopper has a hole in the middle for inserting the brush applicator that's built into the bottle's cap. The lip of the stopper hole is designed to wipe off excess mascara as you pull the brush out of the bottle. This helps prevent the mascara from clumping. This manufacturer fills small orders manually, like this one for a private label brand. Its automated production line is reserved for large orders. Regardless of quantity, Clients specify the characteristics they want in their brand of mascara, such as lengthening or water resistance, and the manufacturer tailors the formulation accordingly.